Hello everyone, my name is Twiddle, and we are back to some more Assassin's Creed Rogue. So last time we left off, uh, I just got here at the, um, town, I guess, um, let's see here. Well, considering that's the only, since that's the only viewpoint, and how I mean, long are you yeah, planning to see Only a few days. Let me Please think about it. I just gotta be careful though. Let's see. Air rifle thing is really cool, so I'm really okay. A selection of fine racing horses is available from Jenkins and so on. Their quarter horses cannot be beaten up in the in a pretty good mood because I just uh, did a little bit of Black Friday shopping. Didn't really do, a, didn't really get a whole lot. Um, Stop! Just, uh, I don't care. I'll run up. How did... did you see that? It's not like this is a karma game. So, um, probably a good thing to do also is to, uh, look up the crafting for the, um... Uh, air rifle stuff, so. Alright, so I need a uh, deer hind and arctic bear pelt. Now, I'm probably just gonna get the money and go to them unless I just so happen to kill the animals, like, in, in the area. So, I mean, like, for instance, uh, Let's see, are there any... Uh, well, there's... there's hair. Uh, let's see what I could use hair for. See, if it's nothing important, then I won't go for it. Oh, that's for health. Then yeah. <laughs> So rude. I'm trying to kill things. Hope we get that rabbit first, and then we will start the mission. Just because I can increase my health by 25%, and I just need one of them. So I mean, it seems pretty worth it to me. Um, let me 
see if there's anything else that requires maybe one or two uh, hair. Um, I could get sleep dart efficiency. Oh wait, no. I also need arctic bear pelt. Never mind. Sequence two, we the people. Alright. We're here. Congress is still in session. George Washington and his militia have fired on French troops under Jumonville. The French are calling it an act of war. George Washington. You mean Lawrence's younger brother? Yeah, it's the same. I'm speaking of Lawrence Washington. But you eliminated him. James Wardrop has moved up in ranks. All the Templar resources are at his disposal now. What about the manuscript? My sources in New York confirm that Wardrop has it. I also learned that he is here at the Congress under heavy guard. Shay, find Wardrop. Get that manuscript. This place is thick with Templar troops. Liam and I will make sure he doesn't escape. I just came out this way, now I can go back. Alright, let's do it. So, sneak into the uh, Valley of uh, Albany Congress, uh, speak into Congress Untetic. Ah, oh, come on! Okay. Sorry, but I'm gonna restart that. That was, I mean... That's just, that's just really not fair. Okay. Watch now. Who's he? Oh look, it worked. Perfect. Never heard of him. Um. Uh, let's see. This is actually being much tougher, I think, than I thought. I don't think I can jump to that though. Still. Nope, you don't see anything. I still have that stupid hair thing on my map. Let me get rid of that real quick. Mm. 
right here in Auburn. What about that young officer, Charles Lee? I hear he's got potential. Our own Bonnie Prince Charles. I like him. Do I have subtitles on? I thought I did. I mean, that's what just showed up, but... Subtitles are on. <laughs> okay, I guess they just don't show all the little stuff. So if you guys couldn't hear, um, just to let you know, uh, really they were just talking about Charles Lee, which Charles Lee is a guy from Assassin's Creed 3 who was uh, worked for the Templars, actually, and um, well, he was pretty much an asshole. Uh, that's all. That's all you need to know, really. Ah, uh, that must be the Templar William Johnson. Perhaps he has the manuscript, or knows where it is. As I have stated previously, I believe we need a national union, granted by an act of parliament, but bringing greater independence to our colonies. The French are an immediate threat, and we are ill-prepared to face them. To put it bluntly, the colonies must join. Or die. A rousing speech, Master Franklin. But do you truly believe Great Britain will grant our colonies autonomy? They have little choice, Master Johnson. You know the remoteness of this frontier better than most. Yes. But let us leave politics for another day. I wanted to thank you for your research. Of course. Of course. In the brief time I could examine that box, I could tell it was something unique. From ancient Egypt, you said? Well, as I mentioned in my letter, I am quite ready to electrify it. Excellent. We will have the box delivered shortly. As for the manuscript... Captain? Sorry, fix my mic. I apologize, sir. But Master Wardrop refused to hand it over. He said the risks were too great. The risks? Ah. I apologize. You will have the manuscript and the box in the briefest of delays. You mind your excuse for a uniform? Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cough up the manuscript post-haste. Else I will have him scalped. I can't let right. that lobster captain reach Wardrop. 